Welcome back to the broadcast. Take a look at these pictures of London, all lit up for Christmas holiday. It's absolutely beautiful there. And that's why we've invited our friend Darren McGrady to share some of the wonderful British traditions with us this morning. It's so lovely to have you today. It's nice to be back and a happy Christmas to happy you. Happy Christmas to <laughs> you. I love the way they say that. They don't say Merry Christmas, they say Happy we Christmas. Say, we say things differently across the pond. That's wonderful. I love it. I embrace everything British. I just love the traditions and the, the beautifulness of everything they do. And now you're going to be sharing a holiday meal. Yes, with, I am. Or I'm sorry, a recipe. Yes. Uh, I'm sharing a, an English trifle. This is a dish that we make all year round. It's comfort food. But come the holidays, come Christmas, New Year, uh, this is a dish that everyone's making at home. And I spent 11 years with the Queen, and she moved off to Sandringham House today in Norfolk to start Christmas. Yay, Christmas is about to start. What is uh, Sandringham House, by Sandringham the way? Sandringham House is the Queen's vacation home. Okay. It's a house. It's a castle. It's got like a thousand rooms, but we call it a house in England. Oh, just a little house. <laughs> and she's there for about six weeks now over the Christmas period. Six weeks. Um, and okay. then all the rest of the royal family will arrive on Christmas Eve. And, oh. and because they're German by descent, they'll all open their Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve night. Christmas Eve. And so nothing yes. on Christmas morning. Christmas morning, they're really busy. They wake up, they have a big breakfast, all go off to church, come back, great big lunch with all the turkeys, the trifle, the Christmas puddings, oh. and then sit down and watch the Queen's speech. Oh, my gosh. This is so fasc fascinating. Okay, well, please show us how to make this trifle, because I love a good trifle. Why don't you put some raspberry jelly onto my sponge for me? Any sponge will work with this recipe. this a sponge, but at home we call it a pound cake. A pound cake, okay. <laughs> so a pound cake, a sponge cake, anything like that's going to work, and then we'll cut it into little pieces, lay it on the bottom. Alrighty. And in the meantime, I've boiled some sugar and water here, which I'm just going to pour over the top, and that will help soften the sponge a little bit, or the pound cake. And of course, for the royal dining room, we actually put some sherry in there, but of course for William and Harry when they were in the nursery, and of course Prince George at Sandringham, his first Christmas, Prince George, no sherry for him this year. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do this? Yes, Shall please, just okay. lay them in there. Okay. Oh, then we've got some pretty. fresh berries. You can use strawberries, raspberries, mm. blueberries, anything you want in there. Okay, so that looks beautiful already. Can you then, tell us about the Christmas cards as well? Yes, of course. Uh, just let me tell you what's in yes. here. I've got some eggs, cornstarch, sugar, and vanilla. I'm going to mix all those together and then pour this hot milk, hot milk and cream over the top. Mm. Mix it all in together and then pour that over the sponge. Oh my goodness. Uh, but the Christmas cards, the Queen and the Royal Family send out Christmas cards every year. Yes. And this is a Christmas card from the Queen. Oh my gosh. Um, also one from Princess Diana. And so that's something we look forward to every year. Now do you still get Christmas cards? I don't. I've not had one for a while. This was a note from Princess Diana, the very last note she sent me. She gave me this and a beautiful Hermes tie. I remember that. Oh, Still have the tie. What a gift. My goodness. Is this you cooking in the kitchen? This is me in the kitchens at Windsor Castle with all the afternoon tea pastries. Look at those chocolate logs, the, the Christmas cake, uh, and there's so much chocolate, chocolate, chocolate in a royal Christmas. Oh, my gosh. Will you come, come cook at my house for Christmas? I'd love to, yes. Oh you can gosh. come and cook with me, yes. Now, hey, you just recently shared something with me. I'm a huge Downton Abbey fan, and you just shared something with me. That I don't know if I really want to tell everybody what's going on with you, because <laughs> go ahead. I won't take up any more time. Well, I'm doing a culinary trip. I'm taking a group of people to London, and I'm going, we're actually going to Downton Abbey. Uh, I did that last year, took a group to London, we went to Bampton, where the church scene was, the library and everything, and went into Highclere, and it was incredible. This, okay, so you're taking how many people this Only year? Only 16 people, and? <laughs> and we're actually going to um, London, we're going to Sandringham House, we get a private tour of Sandringham House too. You get a cooking class oh with gosh. me in Norfolk. This is a dream. Okay, and we're in London. Watching. Honey, this is what I want for Christmas. When is this trip? This is August the 4th to the 10th. Uh, next year, and uh, for information on the trip, you can go to uh, my website, theroyalchef.com, click on latest news. Royalchef.com. Um, theroyalchef.com, okay, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 
if, if it fills up too fast, will you just make space for just one more? I'll take you along in my suitcase. <laughs> okay. You can come along in that. So I just put some cream on the top yes. once the custard set, and, and then a few fast you happy Christmassy sprinkles over the top of that. Oh my goodness, that looks and that's amazing. That's festive. That says Christmas. That says eating royally all over it. Would you it like to? It says happy Christmas. It says happy Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh, may I take a bite? Absolutely. Dig down into that beautiful rich custard. Is that good? Happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> happy Christmas to oh you too. Oh my goodness gracious, that is divine. Thank you so much. Wonderful recipe. And for Darren's recipe, you can log on to thebroadcasttv.com and click on today's links. You can also find a link to the Royal Chef's website there as well. So we'll hook you up. You're quickly running out of time to finish Christmas shopping. You've got one week. Coming up next, we've got some Texas homemade gifts that will save the day. Y'all, be, we'll be right back. And I'm going to be eating this right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me your ears and I'll sing.